Kelly, we appreciate you being with us. Uh, what can you tell us about the significance of this latest development? Yeah, hi, today is another historical day for Azerbaijan. According to the tripartite statement signed by the presidents of Azerbaijan and Russia and the prime minister of Armenia on November 9, today units of Azerbaijani army entered the Latin region and Latin was invaded by Armenian armed forces on May 18, 1993, driving out 65,000 Azerbaijanis who were forced to escape through the mountains. At that time, it had 125 villages in addition to the town of Latin, and all of the people of Latin became internally displaced people at that time. Now they can go back, internally displaced persons and refugees under this, uh, this agreement will return to the territories of Nagorno-Karabakh and adjacent uh, areas under the control of UN Office of High Commissioner for Refugees. So this is a very good day for the entire Azerbaijan, and especially for those who just escaped Latin about 27 years ago. But the Latin corridor is a mountain pass uh, that's going to connect Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh. It will stay uh, connecting Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh and this uh, agreement has a stipulation on that corridor. Uh, its status is very important for Armenians and those who live in Nagorno-Karabakh because this corridor will provide access from Nagorno-Karabakh to Armenia and bypass the town of Shusha. Uh, the corridor will engulf the entire city of Latin because it's going to be five kilometers wide. It's interesting why it is so wide, why there is a need for that. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, it will remain under the control of the peacekeeping contingent of the Russian Federation. As you know, along the line of contact in Nagorno-Karabakh and along the Latsan corridor, uh, there are 100, uh, 1,960 peacekeeping forces of Russia in the region. And there are 90 armored personnel carriers and 380 vehicles and other pieces of special equipment in the region. So Russia is going to control those people. But as it was, going to have also special uh, uh, rights uh, to control uh, people and uh, vehicles passing through that pass. Uh, construction plan will be determined in the next three years for a new route of movement along that corridor. And uh, that's going to provide a link between Nagorno-Karabakh and Armenia with the subsequent redeployment of Russian forces. Uh, to guard the same route, but uh, we can't, we, we don't get any information from the uh, agreement signed on November 9th, where that route gonna be. We, uh, we have no idea about that because it has so many right. uncertainties. Ali, what is needed to, to ensure, obviously as there continues this transition, what is needed for stability there? It depends on Armenia pretty much. If Armenia decides to establish good relations with its neighbors and integrates itself into the regional policies and projects, this will bring about a new era for the region. Armenia pretty much needs to find a permanent solution to its problems with Turkey and Azerbaijan. And that's why I would say uh, key to peace and stability in the region, that's Armenia itself. All right, Ali Aksarov, we really appreciate you being with us. Thanks so much for that.